Hello Culers, welcome back to my channel yet again. I am here with some fresh and important FC Barcelona news. So, watch this video till the very end without skipping. If you skip, you will miss some important updates. Before I start, it will help me if you please like this video, drop a comment and share the video. Also, subscribe to the channel, press the bell button, and select all, so that you don't miss any further updates. Now, let's get into the video. A recent report from Gerard Romero today suggested La Liga have received Barcelona's financial feasibility plan, which is considered a significant step for Barca. Now, Fabrizio Romano has offered a new perspective, as far as Barcelona's transfer market activity is concerned. The Italian transfer expert claims there are ominous feelings inside the Barcelona camp, in relation to the financial fair play regulations. The club have sent their plan, but they feel regulations from La Liga are too demanding and will be hard to meet. As of today, the team continues to struggle to find the balance between their income and expenses, which happens to be very high and as a result, an agreement between the team and La Liga is seeming nearly impossible, reports Albert Marsno of Sport. Barcelona will look to move a step closer to securing the league title when they take on CA Osasuna on Tuesday. It would be a special game for Abdi Azalzuli, who has enjoyed a great season on loan at Osasuna and could be facing his parent club at Camp Nou. However, according to Diario Sport, Abdi will not be featuring against the Catalans this midweek. The report points out that Osasuna has no intention of triggering the fear clause, which would make the club pay €300,000 to Barcelona if they are to field one of their loanees against them. According to Luis F. Rojo of Marca, Yamal has already agreed to renew his contract with Barcelona as he wants to stay at the club. Both parties involved are now working on the documentation for his new deal, which he will be signing once he turns 16. This development comes amid some concern within a few sections of Barca supporters, as it had been reported that Yamal could be swooped away by Real Madrid. The 15-year-old's father is said to be a Madrid supporter and it had been claimed that he could cause problems in his renewal. As per a report from Marca, Barcelona is planning to send Julian Araujo out on loan for the next season in order to help him adapt to the rigours of European football. According to Mundo Deportivo, Newcastle United has recently made a move to sign Vita Roque by submitting a lucrative proposal. With the backing of Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, the Magpies have proposed a deal that is far more attractive than that of their Premier League rivals Chelsea and Arsenal, two other English outfits involved in the chase. Mundo Deportivo is reporting that Barcelona might look to renegotiate the contracts of two first-team stars, Marc-Andre Ter Stegen and Frankie de Jong, who are considered non-transferable. According to Luis F. Rojo of Marca, Barcelona does not have an agreement in place to sign Manchester City captain Ilkay Gundogan in the summer yet. And, the Catalans could face added competition to sign him, as the midfielder is coveted by several Premier League clubs. 90 Minutes is reporting that Manchester City will not stand in the way of an exit for Bernardo Silva this summer if he wants to leave, however, in that case, they will seek a transfer fee of around £75 million for Silva. Journalist Akraf Ben Ayed is reporting that Barcelona will sell Rafinha in the summer if a special offer arrives for the former Leeds United winger. According to Albert Marsno of Sport, Barcelona forward Ansu Fati is not in the plans of manager Xavi Hernandez for the next season. The 20-year-old, however, is reluctant to leave the club in the summer transfer window. Given Barca's need to reduce their salary mass, Fati is one of several players for whom offers will be heard in the summer, even though the player is not keen on leaving. And, as per the report, the La Mesa graduate's agent, Jorge Mendes, has assured the Catalan giants that an offer around the 70 million euro mark will arrive for the youngster from clubs in the Premier League. That's all I have in this video. Drop a like on this video, and comment down your opinions about all the news. Subscribe to the channel, press the bell button, and select all, so that you don't miss any further updates. I will see you all in the next video. Visca el Barça